I have waited for this moment a long time. A chance to destroy one of the greatest cities of all. A chance to crush the hearts of his loyal knights. And now my chance has come. Bergfield's wealth and prosperity made it vulnerable. And now it will fall because of it. We will continue our work in the rest of the cities until Bergfield is ready. And when it is, the rest of the kingdom will watch as Bergfield burns. It has been a long journey for me, yet I feel like it's just beginning. I lived in the city of Burkefield for many years. I lived a comfortable, peaceful life. But when I joined Sir Baylor and his elite unit of knights, everything changed for me. I went on many missions with them, but I made a mistake. Sir Balin was killed. I tried to return to my former life, but I never could find peace. Leaving Burkefield once again, I started looking for purpose. In a fight one day, I ran into a silent warrior named Teres. He began training me in the way of warriors as we traveled north to Chesney Isle. While on the Terra Hill mountain range, we found ourselves in the midst of an enemy territory and we narrowly escaped. I'm presently continuing my journey to Chesney Isle to finish my training there. Well, Terras goes and reports our discovery to headquarters. I've learned much, but I still have much to learn. You know full well this is my father's land and his sheep. Not today they're not. I say they're ours. So clear out. Yelton, letting a girl get the best of you. Father be so proud. <laughs> Now this ought to be fun.
Now, get off of her leg. I could have handled them myself. I could see that. Thanks, just the same. You handle that sword pretty well. You gonna be alright? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Hey, where are you coming? Stuff over here. No kidding. You and the rest of the kids. If you're a knight, where's your war? I didn't say I was a knight. No, but you fight like one. And you look like one. Hopefully. Listen. I need you to be on my way. You be careful. Hey! Listen, don't we have to pretend? Look, I'm really grateful you helped me out back there. You're welcome. You're not the prince. How do you know about the Knights of the Prince? And I came through here nearly a year ago talking about the prince. Really? What do you know of the prince? I know that he's the true son of the king of Erythrae, and that he came to teach all the king of his ways, whether man or woman. I also know he died for us, and the king brought him back to life through the life spice. He's coming back for those who are found faithful. And I've explained it all at a meeting outside of Norwex one evening. I wanted to talk to him, but my father and brothers wouldn't let me. They said it was all nonsense, but I believed it. I've always known we had a good king. The knight's words gave me hope, and I knew I wanted to belong to the king and his son. I decided that night that I would join the prince no matter what. Then I met Master Kwai. Master Kwai is a knight of the prince too? Yes, he came to our region not long after. He knighted me, and I've been training under him ever since. It's good to meet a fellow knight this far north. What's your name, miss? My name is Lylam. Will you train me further? Looks to me like Master Kwai's done a thorough job already. But you'd like to meet him someday. The sword belongs to him, but he wanted me to keep it near so I could practice every day. And I do. Shows it's a beautiful weapon. It's what I was born to be. Please train me further. I want to know more so I can fully serve the prince. I, I'm sorry, Lylam. I'm on a special mission. I must continue. There's much at stake. For the prince? Yes. Then take me with you. I can help you, and you can train me along the way. Surely you jest. That just isn't something I can do. Besides, you have sheep to tend, family here. You're too young to be on a mission. I'll be 20 next month. Probably not much younger than you. It's impossible, Lila. Surely your father would never allow such a thing. Before I became an eye of the prince, I ached for purpose in my life. And now that I've found it and am called to fight for him, I'm left to tend sheep. One more day here, and I think I shall. Hello. I'm here, father. What's going on, Lila? You're supposed to be bringing in sheep and they're scattered all over the countryside. Father, the brothers from Brower Ranch attacked me and tried to take our sheep again. What? Are you hurt? I knew I should have sent your brothers with you. I'm fine, but Yelton will be nursing a wound for a little while. I'm not surprised, daughter. But you're lucky they didn't do the same to you. They tried, but this gentleman stepped in and uh, helped me. Father, please meet, sir. I don't even know your name. Quinlan, sir. Nice to meet you. Nelson's my name. I'm indebted to you, sir. Do you enjoy us for dinner this evening? Yes. We insist on showing our gratitude. You simply must come for dinner. I should really be on my way. I insist. Looks like you could use a good meal anyway, son.
right, everyone, come to the table. Lilam says you're a knight on a mission. Where are you going? North. How far north? Far north. Chesney Isle. So what takes you up that far north? You know, I'm not at liberty to say. Is there something I should be concerned about? If you're going to Chesney Isle, you'll have to pass through the dunes of Minot. That's very treacherous land, especially near the Kang River. Why is that? First, the land before the river is very dry. Second, some say it is inhabited by sand monsters called Penthamoths. Penthamoths? You're talking about those creatures with long teeth, sharp claws, poisonous perhaps? No, none of that. How bad can they be then? We don't really know what they look like. Just when they attack, tentacles come up from the sand and the victim disappears. Forever. And there are other critters large and small along that river that are just as dangerous. People just avoid that region. I appreciate your warning, but it must travel a little the same, so I'll keep a sharp eye out. Come, let us not dwell on this matter. Now tell me, do you children like stories? Good, because I have one to tell you guys. It's of the king. He lives in a kingdom across the great sea. I will come back. When I do, I'll take you south to join other knights. So that is, if your father approves? I'll be holding you to your word. Take care, Quinlan. I will, sir. You be careful now. Guys, that was a bad idea. Where do we get these things? <laughs> <laughs>